We want to design a filter, FIR filter, that satisfies this multiband spec given with three pass band between 30 to 50 meg, 70 to 80 meg, 95 and uh, up to 105, but it's shown half of the view, of, of course, up to FS over 2 with FS sampling rate of 200 meg. The first stop band between 0 to 27 meg. Uh, and it's 60 dB or 1,000th attenuation. The, the second and third stop bands are 100th or 40 dB attenuation. The y-axis is not to scale, is linearly shown, so that pass band 1 is between 9, 0.95 to 1 equiripo, and pass band 2 between 0.45 to 0.5 equiripo with respect to reference 1, which means gain of 1 for the filter. Uh, so we want to realize this with minimum filter, filter order, and uh, we want to find the coefficients of that FIR filter that implements this spec. The method focused in this video is using MATLAB uh, filter designer GUI or tool, which is very helpful. There is a second method that I will cover in a separate video that uses uh, the MATLAB's uh, ESP toolbox uh, FIR part MacLennan method, which is the equiripo FIR filter design. That's for a separate video. So for now, let me focus on, let's focus on um, the uh, design that we need to do in MATLAB. So what we need to do is we need to type in uh, filter designer. So filter, filter designer, and D has to be capital. So yeah, as soon as you do that, what happens is the uh, filter designer GUI, which is this GUI, will pop up. But before that, let me just uh, do one quick uh, help here. So just... FII. If you if you help, then you will see that it uh, launches the filter designer GUI. is a nice GUI that allows you to design multiple types of filters, digital uh, FIR, digital IIR filter. If the DSP system toolbox is installed, then uh, you can integrate this with any design you have. So with that in mind, uh, let me just uh, go and uh, show you also this. So the level of the passband we are interested in between 1 and 0.95, as I showed you, and also between, uh, the, for the second passband, it was between 0.5 and 0.45. So let's not forget about that. Now, you click this, you see that dB-wise, the first passband should be between 0 and negative 0.44, and this middle passband should be between negative 6 dB to negative 6.94, corresponding to these values linearly. With that in mind, let me just switch to my uh, GUI. So this is the filter designer GUI. Now you can see that as initial setup, you need to go and select uh, a multiband here, and you need to go and select FIR equity pull design here. So we have to do that. Then as a starting point, you need to specify some uh, order because it doesn't give you the option of designing with minimum order. You have to find it with some trial and error if you're using GUI. Now, if you will select uh, frequency unit megahertz, in this example, 200 megahertz is sampling rate. We, in the frequency vector, we need to provide edges. So 0 to 27 meg is the edge of the first stop band. And then 30 to 50 meg is the edge of the first pass band. Uh, 53 to 68 is the edge of the second stop band. And 7 to 70 to 80 is the edge of the second pass band, and so on and so forth. 95 to 100 is... 95 is the start of the edge of the last passband. And again, remember that 0 to 100 is half of the window of view, basically 0 to half sampling rate, which is 100 meg. Now, for 0 to 27, we want to stop band. So in the magnitude vector, you mentioned 0, 0. For 30 to 50, you want the first passband. So we want to say, hey, do not go above magnitude 1 and I stay between 1 and 0.95. So we, got, we, we will say 0.975 in the middle. For the 53 to 68, that's the edge of the second stop band. We want to say 0, 0. And for the middle pass band between 70 to 80, again, the spec says we should be between 0.45 and 0.5. So we're going to go middle way in for magnitude vector. And finally, for the last pass band, you do the same thing as we did for the first pass band. For the weight vector, let's go with 10, 1, 1, 1. So we have five ones corresponding to, uh, we need to have total number of, total number you put into weight vector should be equal to the number of pass band and stop band. In this case, we have total six because we have three pass band, three stop band. But for the first stop band, since we are requiring more, I mean, tougher stop band at negative 60 
or 1000th attenuation compared to the other ones, I'm going to just insist and uh, put an emphasis by increasing the weight vector there to 10 times the other one for now. So if you design the filter, you see that it come up with some value with order 150, but it's violating because the first stop band needs negative 60 or 1000s, and the second and third stop band, they need negative 40 dB or 100. We're violating that. So maybe one thing we can do is um, I can just stress further on these stop bands. Maybe I say 3, 3, and see what's going to do. Okay. Uh, at least better for the second and third stop band, but not good enough for uh, the first stop band. So maybe further emphasis on the uh, first stop band, not good enough. So maybe I do 2-2 two, two because I'm already fine with the other stop bands, marginally okay. So uh, maybe I do 20 here and see what happens. Okay, I'm getting to the point that maybe I go here with 160 and see what happens. Of course, nice. So at least a stop band wise, I'm able to satisfy the requirement with some limited margin. Let's focus on the pass band. So on the pass band side, you can see I'm fine uh, because I was supposed to be between one linear and uh, 0.95, which translate to zero dB and negative 0.44 that I showed you here, right? So one and negative point and 0.95 translated to zero and uh, translates to zero and negative four, 44 dB, which if I switch back to my view, you can see we are satisfying uh, zero and uh, negative 44. Uh, so we are not violating, we are not above zero, we are not below the negative 44 for the, for the repulse between 30 meg and 50 meg. So we are fine that with, with that. Now let's focus on the second uh, pass band. And we're okay again, because uh, if you, as you remember, for the second one, we need to be between uh, 0.5 and 0.45 linear. That translate to 20 log of that to negative 6 dB and 20 log of the other one, negative 6.93. So we are fine because, as you saw, we are really not, we are not above negative 6, we are not below negative 6.9 for the range from 70 to 80 meg. Be careful about the edges especially, which we are fine. And uh, if I focus on the uh, final stop pass band, you can see that we are not, again, violating, we are not above 0 dB, we are not below, we are not below negative uh, 0.44. So we are satisfying. We are close, but we are satisfying. So uh, this is showing just general scheme. Um, there are wiggle room here, meaning that we can play and make a little bit of modification so that we reduce this slightly. But this video is trying to show you that we are close. Uh, most likely the minimal order that requires uh, for an FIR filter that satisfies the given spec as shown here is close to 160. Maybe it's 154, maybe it's 156, maybe it's 152. I'm not uh, focusing on that right now because that requires a little bit playing further with these weight factors you start playing with the weight for stop band to say maybe here you negative 61 a little bit margin i wouldn't even touch it because in reality you need to quantize filter coefficient you will eat this margin in, in practice so i'll keep it there um, but on pass band wise we have some leeway so maybe maybe if you want to further reduce this a little bit we can play with that but we are in good shape this shows the overall approach in designing um, multiband FIR filters using filter designer GUI in MATLAB. And when you want to port the filter coefficient, what you need to do is very simple. As, as soon as you're fine, then you just go to uh, say many options. By the way, you can show many things. You can show filter coefficients here if you want. You can show pole zero plots. It shows 160 zeros uh, and 160, of course, pole at the center because this is FIR filter. It's all, it's all uh, zeros. As if I focus, you will see a lot of zeros on the unit circle for the portion that is a stop band and around the unit circle for the portions that are pass band. So you can show the step response, you can show the impulse response, you can show the, uh, say, group delay, it's supposed to be constant because it is a, li a linear phase of higher filter. You can show both uh, phase response and uh, magnitude response, uh, and you can show them separately. 
uh, so filter specification in general that's the general view now let me just go back to um, the porting process so you go to find it doesn't show here but basically when you select file it gives you an option to export uh, your filter coefficient so you can use that select file and then select export and then export filter coefficient as a variable into your MATLAB I hope that this is helpful